Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to play multiple videos in the same scene with play and pause button and two buttons to enable you to play next video and previous video. First, let's add a cube and make it look like a screen. Reposition and resize the cube until it looks like a screen. Add a button, resize it and repositioning using resizing tools or you can change it from the XYZ values from the inspectors. Place the button in the front of the screen. You can add image to the button by drag drop the image in the image source option in the inspector of the selected button. Delete the text inside the button. Now duplicate the button so you have two buttons. Reposition and put it in the center of the screen. So this button for playing the video. Place the image to the button. Again duplicate the button. Reposition the button and scale it in the opposite to change the image width. Rename the button to know and recognize them easily. Create C sharp script for playing videos. Add video element to the Unity engine. Then let's add some variables. We need an array to store the list of videos. A variable for playing video. Private integer to help playing the right video. Awake video to get the video player when the scene is in the playing mode. Add in the start function this line for playing the video immediately when the scene is playing. Create next video function. Increase the clip index each time when we press the button. And the increment should be instructed to the length of the array. Now let's create function for playing and pausing the video. We need if statement to check if the video is playing, pause the video. Else. If the video is paused, play the video. Check errors, save the scripts and now let's add functions for the object in Unity. Add the script in the cube and add video player in the inspector. You can see here a label to input the number of videos you want to play. I will add three videos. You need to bring videos to your project. Now, drag and drop the videos in the order you want. Also, add functions to play the video, the playing button, and function to play the next video. Let's test the videos and buttons. Alright, everything is working well, but we didn't create function for playing the previous video. Let's add it. Copy the function of adding the next video, change the name of function and replace plus plus with minus minus. Save the script and add the function to the button. I didn't explain how to add function to play button and playing next video. So you can see now the way of adding the functions in the buttons. Add on click function by pressing plus then drag drop the cube where we added the script and select the name of the script and choose the function which is playing previous video. Now let's check the whole project and test the buttons. Everything is working, play and pause button. We can go to the next video and previous video. Alright that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed.